I'm going to say the same thing in two different ways and see if you can find the difference. I drive a Ford Fusion. I am driving a Ford Fusion. Did you catch the difference? The first one, I drive a Ford Fusion, means the car is just sitting out in the parking lot. But when I say I am driving a Ford Fusion, I better put on the brakes or I'm gonna run right into the cameraman. The difference was progressive verb tense. Progressive, in progress, I-N-G. That it's happening right now. Let's try it again. Do you clean your room? I heard you say, I clean my room. I hope that wasn't a lie. Okay, but you're not cleaning your room right now. You're not in progress. Well, I think sort of the ing verb forms have something to do with sacraments. I think sacraments should be more like ing verbs, that they're happening now. You might say, well, yeah, I received sacraments. I made my first communion a year ago, or um, I, I will be confirmed, uh, you know, in eighth grade. But let's make them more active. Let's try it. You could say, I am baptized, or you could say, I was baptized hmm, 10 years ago. But we need to be living that baptism all the time, living. I am living my baptism every day. I am trying to be the Christian that I have become. In a way, I'm always being baptized because I'm living the life of Christ. Let's try it again. Your parents can say, we are married. They also need to say, we are really living our marriage vows. We're really trying to be the best husband and wife. So marriage isn't just a past event. It's very much ongoing, 24-7. And the grace of that sacrament keeps working in us. Father Adam can say that he is ordained, but he can also use a lot of ING verbs. He can say, I am anointing the sick. I am presiding at Mass. I am trying to help people feel healed and, and be healed. That's more important than just saying, oh yeah, Father Adam was ordained 17 years ago. No, he's being a priest all the time. That sacrament helps him every moment of the day, just like the sacraments you receive are constantly helping you day after day. Now the next time you go to Mass and you receive Jesus Christ in word and sacrament, try for the rest of the day to live out that word and that sacrament. Try to keep listening in your heart the words that you heard in the Gospel. Try to keep living the grace of the Eucharist. Try to keep being the body of Christ for others. So let's really do sacraments. Let's put some ing into them.